All right, let's talk with him. Yes? Uh, tell me a little about yourself. Uh, as I said, I was trained as a Templar before Duncan recruited me about six months ago. The Chantry raised me, and becoming a Templar was a decision made for me a long time ago. Duncan saw I wasn't happy and figured my training against the mages could double for fighting Darkspawn. Now, here I stand, a proud Grey Warden. The Grand Cleric wouldn't have let me go if Duncan never forced the issue. I'll always be grateful to him. You didn't want to join the Chantry? It just wasn't for me. I believe in the Maker well enough, but I never wanted to devote my life to the Chantry. Mmm... You don't... you speak fondly of Duncan. I spent years in that Chantry, hopelessly resigned to my fate. Duncan was the first person who cared what I wanted. He risked a lot of trouble with the Grand Cleric to help me. Hmm, I have a few questions. What about? Tell me about the Grey Wardens. So I imagine. What would you like to know? What? Oh god, we're going to be here for a while. I can tell there's going to be like a ton of options to bring up. But I want to absorb the knowledge of the game, so what makes you all special? The Grey Wardens are warriors without equal. Darkspawn threatened to destroy the world four times over. Each time, the Grey Wardens led mankind to victory. Nobody knows more about Darkspawn, and nobody's better equipped to deal with them. You'll see. Trust me. We're the pariahs of the Dragon Age world. I don't know if I go that far. Duncan says the Grey Wardens do whatever is necessary to protect mankind from Darkspawn. That means some pretty extreme things. Whatever it takes to bring victory. Um, I'm not sh sure I know anything about the Grey Wardens. Where are all the Grey Wardens now? The others are camped with the King's soldiers in the valley. The King's given us a position of honor at the Vanguard, despite our small numbers. I think Kalen is actually excited to ride into battle with us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. Um, so the Great Wardens had the right to recruit anyone? King Marek, Kalen's father, reaffirmed the power the Grey Wardens were given during the Blights. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. Best not to let that happen again. You want to ask me about something else? Um, yeah, I want to bring up the Blight. Of course. What is a Blight? You want the Chantry's version or the truth? Give me the truth, then. The truth is, we don't really know. They come up from the ground, and that's as far as we've gotten. What is the Chantry's version? According to the Chant of Light, the Maker imprisoned the old gods underground long ago, as punishment for tricking mankind into worshipping them. The old gods still whispered to some men and taught them magic. These men became the Magisters of the Tevinta Empire. The Magisters used their gift to enter the Golden City, tainting it and themselves. They were cast out by the Maker and became the first Darkspawn. They fled underground, bringing their taint to their gods. The tainted old gods were the archdemons who rose from their prisons and led the Darkspawn against the world. I won't lie, I got a little bit turned on from that speech. Woo! What a speaker. What was the first? So that was the first blight? Yes, and it nearly wiped us out. When defeated, the Darkspawn flee back underground and seek out another old god to taint, thus bringing another blight. Um... Why not kill the Darkspawn when they're underground? Why not? Why don't we just take out our pitchforks and spoons and start shoveling our way to the core of the world? They've controlled the deep roads ever since they defeated the Dwarven Kingdoms. Even if we invaded, we can only chase them so far. Uh, what is an archdemon exactly? The old gods were dragons. So the stories say. Big ones. Intelligent, even. The Tevinta Empire had big statues of them. Each dragon had a name and a place in the cosmos. It's all very intricate. The archdemons may not be the old gods, but they're definitely dragons. So we're going to have to fight a dragon eventually. We haven't seen it yet. 
people are beginning to think this is just an unusually large Darkspawn raid without an Archdemon to unify them. But seriously, the Archdemon could be in the wilds or underground. It could be hiding. Just because it hasn't shown itself doesn't mean it isn't out there. Hmm. Why are some people so skeptical? Aren't fire-breathing dragons the norm? The Grey Wardens killed so many Darkspawn by the end of the last blight. People decided they were gone for good. That's really stupid. You want to ask me about something else? Um, tell me about Duncan. Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man. A good judge of character. I owe him a lot. What about you? What do you think of him? Um... I owe him as well. He saved me. That sounds familiar. He's done the best he can with what little he has. And that includes me, I guess. You want to ask me about something else? Hmm, the joining ritual. I wish I could tell you more. Maybe ask me again after Duncan speaks to you about it. You want to ask me about something else? The one tomorrow. I'll tell you. It's Tan Loghain we should be looking to win it, not the king. Kaelin just wants his place in history. The Tan is planning the strategy. As I thought. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. I guess I should be thankful the king favors us Grey Wardens. But I know who's keeping the lid on the pot. Uh, how much will I be participating? You know, that's a good question. The other Grey Wardens are riding into battle with the King. I don't know if you'll be with them. Probably for... Probably a good choice, because I kind of don't want to die. Why is it happening here, of all places? We're at the edge of the Korkari Wilds. The Eye of the Blight Storm, right where the Horde will be coming. Ostagar itself is an excellent defensive position. The Wilders were pushed back from here time and again in ancient days. What are the chances of success? I'm sure Tern Loghain has the battle planned to the last detail. Still, no Blight has ever been defeated with so little cost. And what if we fail? If we don't break the Horde here, Duncan says it will spread until it engulfs all of Ferelden. Then it will take an alliance of nations to fight it. Which would be bad. Neither the King nor the Tern really seems to believe this is a real blight, however. You want to ask me about something else? Um, nah. Then let's get a move on, shall we? Alistair approves plus one. Oh yeah, there is that whole, like, relationship system. Hopefully we don't anger him or make him disapprove of us. That would be bad. That would be very, very bad. What's up, Duncan? You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. Um, what do we need it for? For the joining itself. I'll explain more once you've returned. We're gonna have to guzzle it down, aren't we? We'll have to drink the blood so we can become immune to it like the dogs. Um, surely you could have acquired some blood before now. Of course. You must work together to collect the components, however. It's as much a part of the joining as what comes after. All right, what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Mm, what kind of scrolls? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. 
With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. Slap them with the contract, say, bitch. You owe us, and you will help us. It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. Um, this is part of our joining too? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. How will we find this archive? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Alright, understood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Mako watch over your path. I will see you when you return. And we got our two new buddies. Davif and Jory. Which way are we supposed to go? Okay, behind us. There it is. Can I actually level up these characters? Hmm, I wonder. Let's, let's look at our tactics. Dirty fighting attack, money blows on their arms. If he's been attacked. Enemy nearest visible, or not nearest visible, um, the lowest health attack. And then, if he's attacking me, dirty fighting. We'll just experiment a little bit in that regard. Hail! I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Off we go. Done with the dialogue for now, on to some questing. And hopefully these guys will actually follow me. Oh my god, they actually do follow me. Thank god for that. Oh shit. Alistair could use some healing. We're kicking ass. And the music just abruptly stops. Oh well. That actually went well because we had more than two people and the AI weren't complete idiots. Thank goodness for that. I can only handle so much idiocy. Alright, so we need to find a flower and we need to find three dark spawn encampments. Oh damn it! Why am I not attacking? There we go. I thought his name said Joey for some reason for a second there. Take all these wolf pelts. There's still items I can sell at the end of this. Hmm, these look like dark spawn. Oh. 
now is better than later. A letter, a personal letter. A letter to Jogby. New quest to missionary. Letter on the corpse. Detailed a path through the wilds that should lead to the place where the deceased is meant to meet his father. Consult a note. A letter to Jogby for more information. My dearest son, it pleases me that you wish to follow my ste steps, follow my footsteps, and bring the Maker's Word to the Enlightened. Apologize for leaving early for the wild son, but I wanted to set up camp and get things started. Hope to get a grip on this before you arrive. When you reach the wilds, you'll find it difficult to navigate. I listed certain landmarks in the locations below. If you follow them, they'll lead you to a location I've scouted out where I've left you some supplies. If you're lost, try to get back to that spot and I'll find you. Beginning at the entrance, look for a tree leaning on a ruined building, pass under a fallen tree bridge, pass a submerged tower on the right, look between a high ruined arch and a mossy standing stone, walls along a path of root and stones, look for two large statues with a chest between them. Tree leaning on a ruined building. Well, let's get what we need done here done first before we think about doing side quests. Over here. Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. Let's try to band him, bandage him up. No, we can take him. Yeah, let's bandage him up first. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. You forget I have magic at my command. We'll be fine. Overcoming these dangers is part of our tests. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on.